What is up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brandon. If you can't tell, I'm sweaty, I'm dirty, and that's because I've been out digging today. I'm back at the Coca-Cola Baller dump that I showed y'all here about a week or so ago, and there was a ton of comments that said go back, and I'm glad that I did. I went back and I have found something amazing. Y'all have to hang in the video to see. In either case, this video is sponsored by findadiggingbuddy.com. If you don't have somebody to dig with, go check that out. It can be pretty handy. All right, without any further ado, let's go show you what I found. I've got one exposed right here you can see the neck it's looking really good I'm trying not to get my hopes up be very gentle with this shovel man it looks good oh it is whole wow so a whole bottle can survive in here and that is a AB beer. <laughs> Boy, that makes me feel good knowing that they can survive. I just hate that it's not embossed, but it's still a keeper. Got some pretty air bubbles in it. And uh, that's the layer I'm going to chase right there. If one's there, there could be more. Let's see what we can come up with. Okay, right behind that beer is a flask. And I can already see that it's strap sided. <laughs> I'm trying not to get my hopes up. It's probably broken. But come on now. Be good. Boy, it's in there pretty good. I'm going to put the camera on the tripod. That way I can dig it out easier. All right. Y'all can see that. Let's just see what it is together. I'm going to dig out from under the bottom. And then slowly work it. Oh my gosh, it says something. You've got to be kidding me. Holy crap, Tuscaloosa Dispensary. <laughs> and it's freaking perfect. No way. Can y'all see it? <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I listened to y'all and came back here. <laughs> That's only the second or third whiskey flask I've ever dug that is embossed and I am tripping right now I cannot believe this guys this is amazing this is the kind of stuff that everybody wants to dig and here I am in a spot everybody said oh everything's broken and boom there it is kind of show you what I've got going on here so the way this hill is it's kind of solid then it dips right here and then it comes back up and my thoughts were everywhere there was a low spot in the side of the hill is probably where they dumped first so that would be the earliest stuff and that's why I started here after hitting a couple spots over there last week and it paid off with that flask now the glass is running dry to the right it's running dry to the left and the pay layer seems to be like that top foot like from here to here now that flask come out lower so it either sunk in the mud or it was there and then filled in with dirt and then more trash. So I really don't know which one it is, but I'm gonna follow this layer all the way up to kind of where you see that little brush spot is because this whole bank should have stuff in it. Now, if I could just find something whole again, it would be awesome. I'm excited to have that dispensary flask because that's something that not very many people get to dig. I did dig this just a second ago, another one of those centerable circle slugs. So this is the next bottle I want to find out of here hole. If I could find one of those, I would be super excited. Now, as mentioned, I think this is a bottler's dump. And you may be wondering, well, why is there alcoholic stuff in here? And that could be that somebody that was had a household around here knew the bottler dumped here and they started dumping here as well. I'm not for sure on that. A lot of times bottlers, when they were through with a run of bottles or if they were going to the next style, so they were going from those straight side cokes to hobble skirts, they didn't want those to continue to get returned in for a deposit. So they would take and snap all the necks off and that's why I was thinking most of this stuff would be broken. But if there's a few household piles like that one right there, that's gonna have some good stuff in it, I'm gonna keep on digging and spend several days here. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was on the fence about it and I asked y'all in the last video or one of the last videos, whether I should return and the overwhelming response was yes 
please return go back there may be at least one whole bottle and for that i thank you because i've never dug one of those and i must say that y'all are a part of that so that's awesome guess i'll keep going see what else i can find all right here's something for you guys what is this it's definitely old looks like it's got a hook on the top of it those things kind of move a little bit i don't have a clue what this is is it an old light fixture i don't know definitely makes me think more household trash which is good guess we'll keep going see what else we can find i've suddenly got back into a pretty good little pocket right here you see that piece of iron that popped out behind it it's broken i don't know what it is it's from chattanooga tennessee there's probably some kind of med could have been a whiskey if it was it was a small one I'm really hoping that something's gonna be hiding up under that metal right there. Usually metal protects the bottles under it through the years. And I will tell y'all, there's a couple things to think about. You know, a shallow dump is super nice, but you gotta think about during the winter, when it gets super cold and your bottles have been in the ground for 100 plus years and they've got a little bit of water in them, they freeze and they crack. The deeper the dump, usually the better preserved the bottles are. So just something to think about. All right, here's a bottom right here. It's brown, it looks like it's gonna be beer or a liquor not for sure let's see if i can get it out of there the bottle's facing upward and that's not necessarily a good thing because like i said it would have been more shallow feels pretty solid though let's see Well, it's whole, it's a nice old beer. And there's that water I was telling y'all about that they're full of that'll make them freeze. Y'all remember what happened a while ago though, while I was digging for the beer, right behind it was the flask. So there's hope. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Just dug that old chain out from behind what I thought was an old light fixture. The size of the links is a dead giveaway to the age. It's definitely probably pre 1900s. Uh, as for if this is what hold the light fixture up or what it was, I don't know. Y'all leave me a comment below if you know, because I do not have a clue. All right, my glass ran out at my spot. So I'm trying to find another one to dig at right now. What was weird about the spot that I was in, there was a bunch of broken soda pieces, but none of them were even over half. Now I did get the beer, the two beer bottles and the dispensary flask, which <laughs> to be honest with you is way better than those sodas that I was after. But let's go see if i can find a spot to dig some sodas called in reinforcements so we finished off the flask hole by the way if y'all aren't subscribed to exploring alabama do that you get to see the other side of this story hopefully today we can pull out some more awesome stuff like we did last time this is day two by the way uh, you can see that it kind of looks like a an anthill there's little holes everywhere that's from animals and other diggers and stuff and we're trying to pick our next spot to put a hole the discussions kind of went of basically picturing a horse-drawn cart backing up to this hill and dumping the bottles out of it and down the hill. So we're just trying to find the low spot, obviously, which is down here, that all of the bottles would have rolled to. Uh, that'll put us on the largest concentration of glass. Uh, it's really just like flipping a coin. I mean, you're going to dig a hole. Uh, I guess you just got to look at it as exercise. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully... It's good, it's good exercise. Hopefully we'll find something here in a minute that let us know that we're on the right path. What do you think? Too good to be true? Let's see. We'll dig it out together. All right, she's loose. Oh, top is gone. Bottom's good though. There's your drinking glass. That's the CC Simpson bottle and works. So there's glass right here. This is where somebody dug before. I guess I can continue it and see what they missed. All right, so dug all the way around that right there. Pulled out a couple of more CC Simpsons. EA found this Coca-Cola right here. That's gonna be a good drinking glass. It's got a little bit of a mark in the O. 
but there's one of these listed on eBay right now for $250. I don't know if they'll get it. It'll be interesting to see if it sells. If it does, that kind of tells you the market value of one of those. I did find one whole bottle. <gasps> don't let it blow your mind. <laughs> just a pickle jar. Still shows that there is some stuff left in there, though. You just never know. And part of a whiskey. I don't know who it would have been. His square. Oh, you got another one? Under a rock. Let's see which one he got. Oh that, yeah, that would make a decent glass. Heck yeah. There you go. No doubt. Thank you. I've contributed not much to this event. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So far, I've gathered all these up. The digging has not been productive. Uh, that flask may have been a fluke. <laughs> if that's the case, it's okay. I found a really awesome bottle in here. All these are Tuscaloosa Bottling Works, C.C. Simpson, all pre-1915. All good drinking glass candidates. My question is, how many of you may be interested in one of these if I were to have them turned into drinking glasses? Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, we're done. We're beat. Three hours of digging, believe it or not, will take its toll on you in the Alabama humidity. Uh, we're probably going to go find a creek to get in. How about that? As you can see, we've got a bunch of bottles lined up here. I'm going to try to carry out as many as I can. For those of you that are saying, why did I leave some behind? That's because I can't carry that much. I'd take me all day to get all the glass out of here. But I am taking some, and we are going to refurbish them and turn them into drinking glasses as mentioned. So y'all keep an eye on my eBay store for those. In either case, we'll catch you guys in the next adventure. Yeah.